is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i do have some brand new wwe elite figure customs for you guys and you will see that we have three of them here three of my favorite superstars in fact you guys see dolph ziggler ricochet the one and only my second favorite nxt talent currently but i guess he's main roster bound right guys i mean he he is legit a part of Raw and smackdown full time i'm excited to see where they go with it hopefully we have like a ladder match or or something where this man can just show off at Mania, man. I, I hope we get something good with Ricochet going into Mania. And we have my boy Kevin Owens, who just returned on SmackDown Live, which I'm super excited about. But anyways, guys, we have these customs here. I'm going to go through the formulas and everything we did to work on them, but anyways, Kevin Owens did show up first on SmackDown Live, right? He showed up and he replaced Kofi Kingston at WWE Fastlane against Daniel Bryan, the WWE Champion, which I am a fan of. I know that everybody's screaming hashtag Kofi Mania and everything, and I like Kofi Kingston a lot, and I think it's cool to see him in the singles picture, but my boy Kevin Owens just came out of nowhere, man. I don't know. I love Kevin Owens, man. I'd love to see him with the WWE strap. But anyways, guys, not only did he return in his Fight Anyone shirt, his white wrist tape and his shorts and everything, he came back with some new ink. My, my boy came back tatted up on his sleeve right here and the other day I was customizing and I went ahead and updated his tattoo so I'm going to show you guys the tattoos and I'm going to pull up a picture on the right side of the screen and compare the tattoos to my actual work here but anyways you guys will see here on the right side uh, or the right side of your screen I'm going to pull up the tattoo on over here what I did was is it's a bird image and I don't know if you guys can see it very well but I'm going to try my best here you guys can see the wings coming down and the wings go up into the bull there and um, I, I apologize if I'm not getting it exactly, but I'm going to do my best here for you. But you guys can see there is the bird image. It's not perfect by any means, but it does do the job. I didn't use Apple Barrel Black Paint because tattoos aren't solid black. You know what I'm saying? They're like a lightish gray color. You guys can compare it to the bull tattoo up there and his live tattoo over here. And the tattoos on his knuckles are more of like a... It's called Apple Barrel Pavement, and it's a perfect color. It's a perfect representation of how tattoos are. On the inner forearm right here, we got the Gorilla tattoo and what I did for this one is I pretty much you know I, I actually for all of them I penciled it in first and then came back with my paintbrush and it filled in all the details I figured that would be the best way to do it and I did use a toothpick to get some other details in there it's the best way to do it I, I BEW taught me that and it's a great tip on how to, you know, get those tattoos looking how you want them to. Over here, we have his other tattoo, and it is a, a gator or an alligator on his lower forearm right there. And it looks pretty solid. I think my least favorite of all the tattoos that I did was the bird. It wasn't perfect by any means, but I think the gator turned out pretty good. And then on the inner forearm, of course, the, the, uh, the gorilla. And then on the inner bicep right here, you guys will see we have this panda tattoo. And I think this one turned out the best out of all of them. I was really psyched out at how the panda tattoo came out. I think it looks just like the panda that Kevin Owens got on his inner bicep. So I don't know why he got all these animals. He got a gator, a panda, a gorilla, and a bird. And I, I really don't know exactly what he was doing there. But that is the updated tattoos on Kevin Owens. Again, uh, pavement is the color you want for your apple barrel, guys. But one thing that did happen to this elite Kevin Owens is he took a shelf dive the other day and it legit broke his foot off. It legit broke the peg and everything. What's good about this or what's okay about this is that I have so many of these kick pads and so many different KO parts that I can easily switch it out and it's not going to be a big deal. But I thought that, you know, that did bum me out at first. I was like, what the hell? But then I was like, you know what, Brad, it's not even that big of a deal. You got plenty of parts there. That's what the importance of getting customs and, and fodder and filling up your fodder box with stuff is for. So you can, you know, switch that out. So on action figure surgery, we're definitely going to have to switch that boot out or switch these legs out and everything like that. But that is an updated look at my boy Kevin Owens, who I'm so excited is back. But now we move on to the one and only Ricochet. So for this Ricochet, guys, we did not use the David Otunga head scan that everybody likes to use. What we did for Ricochet is my boy Mad Reaper Studios, he sells Ricochet head casts on his website, Figure Giant, but uh, he is currently not selling them now. He is going to be selling them in the next few weeks or so, and he told me to let you guys know that those will be coming soon, but he had an extra one there, and he hooked me up with it, and it looks absolutely beautiful. It looks just like Ricochet, and I'm super satisfied with it. We're going to go through the rest of the formula here. We got Adolph Ziggler Elite 48 shoulders, torso, and crotch piece. These are Elite 17 Zack Ryder arms, a Zack Ryder hand, and then a Randy Orton hand over here. We have Elite 44 Sin Thighs, 
on some AJ Styles Elite 47 lower legs and Elite 32 Daniel Bryan kick pads. So what I did was paint over the designs in black, seal that up. I acetoned pretty much all the designs off of the Dolph Ziggler and the Sin Cara thighs because I thought that, uh, I didn't want to take off the little, I think the pink and silver flames going around looks pretty cool. I don't know, it, it, it's not, it's, it's definitely not accurate to a ricochet, you know, attire or anything. He actually wears longer boots instead of kick pads, but I figured why not do it? And then, of course, I had to hand paint all of these tattoos, and that was actually one of the funnest parts about it. I loved, you know, getting in there, looking at all his tattoos, getting into my paints, and just sort of uh, winging it. Like I did with Kevin Owens, he came into the tattoo shop, worked, uh, gave him some ink, and there you go. You got the Be Fearless tattoo over here. You got all his waves and clouds going on with the dragon up here. I actually bought a darker green to go over the green up here and on his lower arm to make it more accurate because obviously these bright colors aren't exactly accurate, but they, they do look solid. I'll bring up a picture of Ricochet here so you guys can see. And I'm pretty hyped with the way it came out. He's got a microphone over there. He's got his little logo on there. He's got some flames and stuff. Down here, it's like a skull with like a, a dragon and snake type deal going on and it gets pretty busy on the inner forearm he's got like a skull or something so I didn't want to get too too detailed with it but it, it looks pretty nice and I'm, I'm happy with it we got the ripped torso and everything and it works beautiful for a ricochet so I'm excited for it I'm happy with the way it came out and I would love to know down below what your guys thoughts are on my elite custom ricochet with the custom ricochet head scan so I don't think it, it looks much better than David Otunga so, so I'll take it and for our last custom guys we do have my man Dolph Ziggler and what I did right here was I took Look, I had like an old Bret Hart Elite that was all beat to hell. It was it was really rough looking. It had like chipping all over the head, the arms, the torso, but the legs were in pretty good shape. So what I did, even the boots were tore up. So what I did is I had a extra Dolph Ziggler torso laying around. I cracked that torso. I added it to the Bret Hart legs. I put the basic Dolph Ziggler arms. I put the Elite, this same Elite, the Elite Dolph Ziggler that this was, put that head scan up here and then just kept all the the designs. I did paint over the Hitman right here in pink, and I had to paint over the Hitman in pink over here, but I think these stripes look pretty cool. I don't, I'm not crazy about the stars. I'd like to add, like, Ziggler or, or You Wish or, or just something to do with Dolph Ziggler, you know, to, to complete the fantasy attire, but I think it's pretty freaking sweet. I like the way it came out, and I did add the Elite 48 Dolph Ziggler boots to it to complete the look and I, I like it a lot. I think it looks pretty freaking sweet, and he'll most likely wear this at, you know, on MDT Live or, or something. He's definitely going to wear it in the pick fed at some point, and I can't wait for it. So we will be using this Ziggler. It was a perfect torso crack. It was perfect. Everything, everything's tight, and the joints are perfect. You know, usually when you torso crack, you'll get that loosey-goosey torso. Not on this guy. He, lo he looks great. He's feeling great, and now we have three beautiful customs. We got the updated Kevin Owens with the tattoos, which I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think of about the tattoos are you are you pleased with it do you think i did pretty solid on the tattoos i'd love to know your thoughts on the ziggler here what do you think he's gonna do is he gonna wear this on mdt live next episode who knows and of course we have my man the one and only rick uh ricochet in the house i gotta replace this kevin owens foot guys i just wanted to show this ko off before i did that because um you know the probably tomorrow's video or something will be action figure surgery we're gonna switch out this we're gonna we got alistair black coming in on the action figure surgery drew mack McIntyre, and a lot of stuff's going to be happening on the next episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery that we're going to improve a lot of figures and fix a lot of stuff up. I also got some new how-to videos coming soon for you guys. Vindication should be done in the next couple days, so we will be putting that up for you guys. The go-home show for the MDT Royal Rumble. Of course, we have Vindication Episode 12, then MDT Live Episode 12, which I'm going to fly through. Then we're going to start filming for the Rumble, and you guys know when I'm filming for the Rumble, we do the MDT Royal Rumble match card and predictions and, and you know review we'll go over the whole match card i'll talk about the feuds i'll talk about everything going into it and then of course we're going to have the mdt royal rumble arena tour which i will show the entire arena what it will look like at the royal rumble everything you guys can expect for that we got some sick playset stuff coming in we, we just got a lot of great stuff coming in guys so you definitely don't want to miss that but please do not forget to comment down below what you think of the ziggler the ricochet and the kevin owens tattoos down in the comment section below i am going to fix that green again so uh that will definitely be updated the next time you probably see this ricochet but thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this customs video subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you